We're going to be upgrading Zone Director via the web GUI from version 10.2.0 to version 10.2.1. Before we start, we're going to share some recommendations with you. First, it's a great idea to read the release notes. In the release notes, you're going to find things such as supported platforms. This can cover access points that are supported in the new release or old access points that are no longer supported. We're going to have upgrade information. This is going to give you details on how to navigate the upgrade process. We're going to have enhancements or features that have been added, resolved issues and bug fixes, and we have client interoperability. This is going to help you ensure that your clients have a seamless integration through the upgrade. Now, in terms of software copy, this is something that you want to note. If you have firewalls, access list, any type of filtering that's performed in your network, you need to ensure that these ports are open. These ports are also listed in the Getting Started Guide. Images are copied to Zone Director via HTTPS when you perform this upgrade via the web GUI. Now, the Zone Director itself will then FTP software images to each access point, so we need to make a note of that. FTP is enabled by default, but we're going to validate that it's on. So once we've logged into the CLI, we enter enable, enter config, enter system, and then enable FTP, and then FTP ANON or FTP anonymous. Once we've logged into Zone Director, we quickly want to validate the current software version that's running. Once we've done that, we can click on administer and go down to upgrade. Here we see the software upgrade option and the browse button. When we click on Browse, we're just going to navigate to that image file that we downloaded and stored locally on our PC. So we'll select that and apply it. And this is when it will start to load the software to the Zone Director. Uploading the file took around five minutes. Once it's completed, we'll have a message pop up asking if we'd like to back our Zone Director configuration file up. We want to select that because we have not manually backed up the configuration file prior to this process. So once this message pops up, we'll select Save File. This is going to save the configuration file locally to our desktop. Now the only thing left to do is click Upgrade to initiate the upgrade process. This is a sped up view of the upgrade process. We see that it's upgrading the appliance now. Once that piece is completed, it's going to restart. After the restart, it will redirect us back to the login page where we can log in and validate that the software was updated correctly and it's shown here. The final piece is to validate our access points. Once Zone Director is finished upgrading, it will now start to FTP software to each of your access points that you have configured. We sped this video up so you can see this process happen a little bit quicker. Here we see that the upgrade process is happening. Once this piece has completed and you refresh that page, the access point will show disconnected again. That's because it's in a reboot. However, we can see that the correct software version has been loaded onto the access point. And once the access point comes back up online, you'll see it here, which is gonna be provisioning. Once the provisioning is complete, then the access point will actually move into a connected state and we can validate that clients are attached to it. Before we wrap up, there's a couple things we want to check. Here we notice that the other access point was upgraded and provisioned in the background. Once we validated that, we can go back to the dashboard and ensure that we see all of our access points green, and that means that Zone Director has been successfully upgraded. Check the description box below for great resources located on the Ruckus Support Portal. There you can find KB articles, documentation, videos, and more. Thanks for watching.